Hey everybody, let's talk packaging our HB number two pencils today. So here, this is what my pencils look like when they're all wrapped up and ready to go in their box. I wanna show you the process. So I have a set of my Obstinate Headstrong Girl pencils. This of course is a quote from Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, my very favorite book in the world. I use these cello, these self-sealing cello bags. These are from clearbags.com. I purchased the two and a quarter by, I think, eight inch long bags. And I just slide them in one at a time. But it's really important that you go back and turn your pencils. So your stamp is showing, of course. Here we go. This, I package six at a time. That's why I use the two and a quarter inch wide bags. But if you wanna do fives, you'll wanna get probably two or one and, I don't know, seven eighth, eighths inches. Clearbags.com has truly any bag you could want. They're amazing. I use a lot of different bags from them for my business. So here, you see, we have them all in here. And have you seen, check out this print on my bag. It's true, I haven't officially announced it yet, but I bought a new machine. It's a ribbon printer. I will do a video on that at some point. It is amazing. And I think it's gonna be a really nice addition to my foil stamping machine. So here you can see, I just sealed it. I have my properfine.com, I'm rebranding under properfine.com. I printed it on the ribbon printer. I tried to print a solid silhouette of Jane Austen, but you can see, I think that kind of um, area of pure foil is a little too much for my ribbon printer, but I'm new, so maybe there's more to learn. Here's a little Elizabeth Bennett um, bookmark that I made. I'm very, very excited about this printer. But let's get back to our pencils. So over time, I've actually ended up really simplifying my pencil packaging. I used to put a piece of watercolor, 140 pound watercolor paper as a backer, but it really doesn't need it. I like reducing the waste. Once I have the pencils in their bag, I wrap them like this. So I buy these, these are kind of, I think they're half sheets. And everything, of course, is gold with me because that's my branding. So I buy these little half sheets and I just, let's see, I'm doing this so you can see it. So I try to center the set right there and then I lift up the bottom and then I fold in and just fold the sides. And of course my goal is for oops, everything to be packaged really beautifully so you can send my pencils out as a gift and they arrive at the recipient store completely gift ready. So I'm folding, it's easier when there isn't a camera in front of my body to do this. So I fold up the bottom and then the sides and then I fold like this. You could fold the sides after a couple turns as well. You don't have to fold them right away. And then when I have a little bit of space at the top, I just make a little, I tuck them in at the top. And then I continue folding. And to finish it, I have this, this is a big industrial 1000 sticker roll of gold stickers and so see how this flap is kind of going over the edge I don't want that I want it to be centered here or at least so I don't have to and there we go and this is my pencil this is how they're going to look and then I take these are mailers I like mailer boxes I know a lot of people send their pencils in you could send your pencils in um, anything really any mailers they don't have to be stiff boxes but again 
my pencils are gift ready. So I just take, this is just a square of bubble wrap and I nestle it in the bottom. Not necessary, but nice. Then I take, I'm gonna move these pencils. Another half sheet, I like to use my um, plain gold sheets with this, but I'm actually, I've been waiting on a shipment, I'm out of them. But I just kind of fold, see how I folded it so it's about the width of the box? I do that, and then I crease my paper. It's not gonna be perfect, and that's okay. It'll be nice enough. I just want it to fit in here well enough so it doesn't crinkle. Boop. And then I'm gonna center this in the box. And then I will tuck the pencils right in the middle. And I also, on my website, I have a space for my customers to add a gift note, so I will handwrite the gift note. I'll put that in here. I use another gold sticker to seal it, because obviously I'm not gonna lick an envelope that's going to somebody. Then I'll write the recipient's name on the card, put it right here, and then I fold these in, and I put another sticker. Actually, that's not what I do. I do this. I fold these in. I put a gold sticker on top here. And I put the recipient's card right here. Then I fold up the box. And there we go. And I finish with my branding sticker from Sticker Mule. So I love StickerMule.com. I've made other videos about them. I use their packing tape. And obviously my branding is, you can kind of see, this is where this design ends. My branding is black, white, and then metallic gold. So I do black and white. But Sticker Mule offers full color packing tape and it looks really good. And I use this for two purposes. My local delivery sticker is here. And then I also have this fun has arrived. And I designed this one to be oriented this way. So when your package comes, that's what you see when you go to open it up. The sticker label I print off on my Rolo machine, it goes right here. And that is a beautiful way to package your number two pencils. So if you're making HB imprinted pencils, there are so many ways to ship them out and definitely ways that aren't as fussy as this one. But if you want them to feel really, really special, you can do that. The other thing I want to show you is you can fit at least six individual six uh, packs of pencils in a box like this. You could also fit to 12 packs. So I, if, the, if there are multiple orders going to one spot, I will put them in the same box unless the customer requests otherwise. And that, my friends, is how I package my pencils. Please leave me know in the comments with what you do. This costs, I'm in the US, I ship out of Chicagoland. This cost me about $4 um, for shipping, depending on where it goes. Some places are a little less, some are a little more. And then of course you have to uh, account for your packaging costs as well. All right guys, see you next time, bye-bye.